Good morning, everyone. Welcome, and this is another week. But this week, we're going to be focusing on a new topic. And this topic for this week is even and odd numbers. Everybody, let's say that together. Even and odd numbers. Now, before we start up anything, though, we're going to be watching a video. I want everyone to pay keen attention to the video. So now that we have looked at even and odd number video, the video said if the numbers end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, they are called what kind of number again? Even numbers. They are called even numbers. So I'm going to write the name beside it. So these numbers are even numbers. Now, I want to teach you a rule about these even numbers. Not only these numbers are even, but if we see a number that ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it is also an even number. If the number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it is an even number. So, who can give me some number that is an even number? The number must end with 0, 2, 4, 8, 6, or 8. Let's go. 20. Let's just look at the number 20. The number 20 ends with which numeral? The numeral 0. So we can therefore say that the number 20 is also an even number. And if I change the 0 from 20 and I put... 6. It is still an even number because once the number ends with, let's just call them everybody, 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. It is an even number. Now, I can still change this number to a, num a bigger number, and that number can be 44. This number 44 is also an, what kind of number class? It is also an even number. Why? Why is it an even number? Because in the ones place we have a 4. Now who remember when we talked about tens and ones? Now ones in the ones place, remember the first number is always the tens and then the second number is always in the ones place so if we see zero two four six or eight in the ones place it is an even number it is an even number now we're moving right along and we're going to be looking at odd number we're going to be looking at odd number let me write the word for you odd number and these numbers that are odd numbers are 1 3 
five. Seven. Nine. These are all called odd numbers. They are called what again, class? Odd numbers. Let us call them, everybody. One, three, five, seven, and nine. Now we can say the same thing if any number ends with one, three, five, seven, or nine. It is an odd number. It is an odd number. If we add one, three, five, seven, or nine in the ones place, it is an odd number. So let me try another and this number and you tell me what number is it. 59. This number, 59, is an odd number. Now, what, how can we say or why would we say it is an odd number? This is so because it ends with nine. Nine is in the one's place and if I change the nine to one it will still be an odd number this will be an odd number so one to one three five seven or nine is in the one's place it is called an odd number it is called an what odd number now I have some numbers right here that I, when I put up I want you to tell me if it is an odd number or an even number. Now remember that even numbers must end with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 while odd numbers must end with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. The first one I have here is the number 19. As a matter of fact, let us change that. I'm putting a table. And over this side, we're putting all the even numbers. And over this side, we're putting all the odd numbers. So when I put up the number, you will tell me if it must go over the even side or the odd side. Let's go. 10. The number 10, sorry, it's not 10. The number 19, sorry, the number 19, is it an even number and odd number. An odd number because the number nine is at, in the one's place. So which side would I put it? Can I put it on this side? No, I would have to put it over this side. It's one other one. Now we're going to be looking at the number 10. The number 10. Now, do you see any number, which number ends 10? Zero. The number 10 ends with a zero. So when we look on the board, we can see that zero, if the number ends with zero, it is an even number, and therefore we will put it over the even side. Now, one last one 55. And in 55, we have two. Fives. We have two fives. Now, I want to figure out if the number 55 is an even number or an odd number. What would I do or what would you tell me to do? Alright, we're going to be looking for the number that is in the ones place. And which number is that we have in the ones place? A five. Now, when we look up on the board and we see five, is five an even number? No, five is not an even number. Five is an odd number. So when we look on the chart here and we see even over this side and odd over this side, where would we put 55? We would put it over odd number. Now I have two that I want you to place for me. And these numbers are 66 and 20. Now, I want to know which side would I put these two. Which side would I put the number 66 and 20? Now, I want you to place them in your book. Which side would you put it? Would you put it on the even side or would you put it on the odd side? 
please remember to look for the numbers that are in the ones column to see if it ends with zero, two, four, six, or eight, it is an even number. Whilst if it ends with one, three, five, seven, or nine, it is an odd number. So quickly do this two for me, 66 and 20. Now have a good day for me and please enjoy the activities that you have